Hi students, today's topic wrapper class in Java or wrapper classes in Java. First, we have to learn the definition of the wrapper class in Java. What is wrapper class and what is the purpose of using wrapper class in Java? So first, look at here students. Here I have put the definition. What is wrapper class in Java? The wrapper class in Java provides a mechanism to convert primitive into object and object into primitive. Here primitive indicates the primitive data type. Now, while you are going to convert the primitive data type into its corresponding objects in the wrapper class. Okay, that known as the auto boxing. While you are going to while you are going to convert the corresponding object into its primitive data type is known as the unboxing. So here shortly I have mentioned the answer of the questions. Since J2SE 5.0 auto boxing and unboxing feature convert primitives into objects and objects into primitives automatically. The automatic conversion of primitive data type into an object is known as auto boxing and vice versa is known as unboxing. And next part you can see here wrapper classes provide a way to use primitive data type as objects. So what is the purpose of using wrapper class in Java? Wrapper classes provide a way to use primitive data types into as corresponding objects. So here definition given I hope you understand the logic and based on the wrapper class here we can denoting auto boxing and unboxing. As you all know students, the automatic conversion of primitive data types into its equivalent wrapper class type is known as boxing or auto boxing. Boxing and auto boxing both are the same terms. An opposite operation is known as the unboxing. Clear? This is the new features of Java 5. So Java programmer does not need to write the conversion code. Wrapper classes, auto boxing and unboxing example here are given through this image and both arrow indicating the type of conversion left to right conversion is known as the auto boxing and right to left conversion is known as the unboxing through this image hope you all are understand the logic so wrapper class to its corresponding object wrapper class to its corresponding objects known as the unboxing and primitive data type to its corresponding wrapper class is known as the auto boxing okay come to the next Wrapper class type hierarchy. This image shown to you wrapper class type hierarchy. The first act of we have to mention the class object which packages it is belonging to, then wrapper classes and at last all of the primitive data types. Clear? Here I have given the object under object we are having the categories the type, the boolean number character okay number we are having the integer white and sort data type float long double data type also there character only one single character data type and boolean we are having the boolean data type only number we are having the few categories one is a real number one is a whole number this number can contain the fraction as you all know that it's known as the real number like float double okay and this number contain the non fraction it is known as the whole number like integer and sort byte can indicates the wide value i mean the ascii code value of any particular number characters okay come to the next need of wrapper class look at this para need of wrapper class even through java is an object oriented programming language the user frequently needs to deal with objects in collections synchronization serialization and other areas let's take a look at some of the instances in which wrapper classes are required the fourth purpose here I have mentioned, we must convert the objects into stream in order to perform the serialization. We can use the wrapper classes to convert a primitive number into an object. Number two, Java can only handle calls with parameters. As a result, if we pass a primitive value, the original value remains unchanged. However, when we convert a primitive value into an object, the initial value is changed. Number three, multi-threaded classes are used for synchronization in Java. Number four, the collection framework in Java only works with objects. The collection framework classes within first record here mention vector, hash set, link hash set, priority query, array list, tree set, link list, and array dequeue, for examples, are all object oriented. 
Java refer classes. Look at this table, students. Here primitive data types. One column is here, and the other is the wrapper class. Based on the data types, what are its wrapper class? Here I have mentioned. So through this table, you are all easily understand the primitive data type and its corresponding wrapper class. And as you know, the left side everybody can see boolean, char, while, sort, int, long, float, double, all has been written in the small letters. Okay, that's all are the primitive data. So the right side column everybody can watch. I have written all the wrapper class of its corresponding primitive data types. The wrapper class of variable boolean is boolean. The wrapper class of variable char is character. The wrapper class of variable white, my primitive data type white is white. The wrapper class of sort primitive type is sort. The wrapper class of int is integer, long, long, float, float, double, double. One thing everybody can see here: wrapper class of the primitive data type int is integer, and wrapper class of char of primitive data type is character. All the first letter of the wrapper class should be capital. Clear? Now, auto boxing. The automatic conversion. Auto boxing is also known as the boxing. The automatic conversion of primitive data type. Into its corresponding wrapper class is known as auto boxing. For example, white to white, cat to character, int to integer, long to long, float to float, boolean to boolean, double to double, and sort to sort. Since Java 5 here version 5, we do not need to use the value of method of wrapper classes to convert the primitives into its corresponding object. So one example here I have given wrapper class. How uh, auto boxing is performed? Look at this example. and come to the next unboxing the automatic conversion of wrapper type into its corresponding primitive type is known as unboxing it is a reverse process of auto boxing since java 5 we do not need to use the int value method of wrapper classes to convert the wrapper type into primitives so look at this example one students Look at the example within the main function. I have taken uh, integer i. One new integer variable here I have created. The value is 50. The variable i and value is 50. So int a is equal to i. The variable a can store the i value. When a is equal to 50, so system dot out dot print line. The output is also with the 50. Okay. This is the example of unboxing. So this is example of auto boxing and boxing. Look at here under the main section. I have taken a variable a and initialize the variable a with value 50. And next, I have convert this a variable into a new integer variable. One integer to integer conversion. Integer a to is equal to new integer within first bracket a means a to integer variable can hold the value of a. And next line integer a3 is equal to 5. It is also the boxing. So next system dot out dot print line. I have printed these two variable. A two can show the value fifty, and A three can show the value five. So this is the example of auto boxing. This is the example of auto boxing. I hope all of you are understand.
Thank you.